if you're hangry after this video, it's not my fault. Okay, now that you've been warned, in today's video, I'm sharing with you an overview of what specialty versus regular restaurants are like on the Scarlet Lady. And I'm about to head out to dinner right now at Gun Bay, one of the specialty restaurants. But let's give an overview and the things to know. But if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine, and this is Where in the World is CL, where I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I will have breakout videos specifically about the specialty and specifically about the other restaurants. So make sure you dig into those after this video, but let's talk about the general things to know about food on this ship. All right, friends, I got 10 things for you to know. And the first one is that you will not be hungry. There are over 20 eateries on this ship, which is amazing. But the second thing to know, it's not your typical cruise. There are no buffets. And yes, you can gorge yourself, but people actually serve you like the civil human being that you are in theory. So there's no buffets. By the way, if you're getting some value out of this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing, and tell me in the comments below what you would eat that you've seen so far, and tell me if you're considering coming on this cruise. All right, let's move on. Number three is that no, the portions are not small. I get it, it's not a buffet, but the portions are not small, in my opinion. But the other thing is that they don't limit you. So if you want two main dishes or two of the same main dish, they will give that to you happily, but the portions are not small. There is a chance that you won't gain weight on this cruise, given all the fitness classes. Check out my other video. But the portions, they are not small, my friends. Are we ready for number four? Even though I spent time in Miami after the cruise, I felt like I was in Miami during the cruise. In other words, it felt more like dining in a city than it felt like dining on a cruise, although the ceilings weren't as high. But the entire time I was on the Virgin Voyage cruise, I felt like I was dining in the places I used to live in San Francisco, in New York City. It doesn't feel like you're on a cruise, which is awesome. Which leads to number five. And part of that reason is because they have Michelin-starred chefs on the ship serving amazing food. And number six, sometimes a lot of that food happens very late at night. I ate pizza every night. I also partied every night. Watch that video, it's very fun. But yes, there is late night food and 24 hour food on the boat, including the diner. And if you're too lazy to go out or stop by on your way back to your stateroom, number seven, yes, they do deliver food to your room. Number eight is that it's expensive. Just kidding, everything, all food is included and you don't pay additional to dine at the specialty restaurants. There are some options here and there to pay for additional things like truffles or Wagyu beef, but otherwise everything, all of the food is included. And number nine, there are no kid menus. And that's because there are no kids on this boat. And number 10, there's no drink packages, which is perfect if you're like me and you don't drink, just kidding. But I have a whole separate video about the drink situation, so check it out over there. <sighs> Anyone else's mouth watering? I can't wait to come back on this cruise. Make sure you check the description because there's tons more info in there and something I don't want you to miss. Cheers that like button if you had some some fun with me and I will see you in one of the next two videos about specialty or regular restaurants. Let's dive in. See you over there. Ciao.